a brand new way to animate in Blender, a sneak peek at Jenga FX's real-time liquid tool, and get sketchy in Blender. It's Motion Mondays. If you got an issue, here's a tissue. I feel like every week we're telling you about some cool new add-on for Blender and this week's no different. We are kicking off with Pencil Pro from the well-known Blender creator CG Matter. Now this add-on transforms 3D models into impressively realistic pencil sketches and the examples that they've shown are absolutely incredible. I mean, they genuinely look hand-drawn and that's because the tool actually emphasizes natural pencil strokes and how it's doing it is using screen coordinates and the actual edge flow of your model and having the strokes actually following that edge so it makes those strokes feel intentional and believable and it's not just some overlaid grunge texture slapped on top of your model. So you can see it responding to lighting changes in real time in the viewport. Now you can grab this sketchy tool for the low price of $15 over at superhivemarket.com, which is formerly the Blender Market. And you can find the link in the description below. Sticking with the NPR Blender look stuff, which is so hot right now, here's another interesting tool that helps you achieve smooth anime style shading on your models. So one of the issues with toon shading in many render engines is if you have bad topology, you can get janky looking shading that breaks up the smoothness of your tune and cell shading on your model. Now this is where the clean normals add-on comes in. It helps you achieve that smooth cell shading on any model regardless of whether you've got a really clean topology or not. The plugin smooths out those normals and in turn, you get that really smooth tune shading without those jaggy edges that can appear with triangulation or poor edge flow. It's non-destructive so you can try out all the different shading and smoothing models to see which one works best with your model. They're also working on an anime face proxy mesh specifically for face shading on anime style characters since those often need a little bit more extra simplified and super smooth normals. Now the best part is its creator Fondant has made this tool completely free, which dare I say is a smooth move. You can grab it on Superhive as well. Link is in the description. Now for those of you on the web design side of things, you're probably familiar with Webflow, a platform that helps you design and build websites without needing to manually code anything. Well, last year, Webflow acquired GSAP GSAP, which is a coding tool for motion graphics on the web. And they just announced that all the GSAP JavaScript animation libraries and plugins like Split Text and Morph SVG are totally free, removing the previous membership requirement. Now, if you check out some of the examples, you can see it's capable of creating some really impressive Rive-like animations, but it's built on JavaScript so you can actually code it all yourself. It's perfect for adding sophisticated motion to websites without a ton of effort. So if you're someone who loves the code or wants to add some animation pizzazz to your web projects, definitely check this out. And hey, it costs you nothing, so go grab GSAP ASAP. The link is in the description. So if you haven't heard, we did the thing. We launched All Access last week, which is the biggest change we've ever made at School of Motion. So what does this mean for you? Well, it means our entire course catalog is now available to everyone, anytime. So we're talking every course, unlimited critique, 24 seven community, verified credentials, live events, I mean, do I have to say more? You get all of this for one low price, making learning and reaching your career goals easier while saving money. That's right, saving money in this economy? So if you've been wanting to learn Blender, Photoshop, Illustrator, After Effects, Cinema 4D, Rive, Unreal, Design, Animation, 3D, VFX, Illustration, or which of my 30 Kirby toys is my favorite, School of Motion All Access has got you covered. And if you sign up now, you'll get access to all our new courses that we're launching, including a new Rive course, Unreal Engine, After Effects, Calvary, Substance Painter, and Premiere courses that will all be coming at you later this year. And we just launched a brand new site where you can learn more about All Access. And if you have a team of three or more, you should check out our team training program with exclusive features like floating seats, team progress dashboards, consolidated billing, and more. To learn more, head on over to our site. The link is in the description. 
and Kirby and I can't wait to see you in class. All right, so it's been about five seconds since I said the word Blender, so we have to say something about Blender again. So there's this new tool that if you wanted to 3D model like it was 1963, you can check out this clever geometry nodes and shader setup from Damyam Minofsky that turns your models into a laser light show. Pew pew! It gives off a lot of old school Tron vibes and it could be useful if you ever wanted to do some type of glitch art or create that retro computer aesthetic. The setup creates these awesome wireframe style outlines that follow your model's edges, making it look like something straight out of an old vector display. I could totally see these being used for a sci-fi UI elements or retro futuristic visuals. You can download the project file for free over on Damian's X account. The link is in the description. Andre De Deuce, AKA the Grease Pencil Goat has officially released Simple Animation Graph created in collaboration with Pull USB. This Blender add-on compatible with Blender 4.1 and up merges 2D animation principles with 3D capabilities. It's actually pretty interesting. It allows users to draw object or bone trajectories, mark spacings, and animate with precise keyframe positioning for effects like acceleration and deceleration. Now, I think this is, this is pretty interesting, and I'm sure it's gonna be fun for anyone who really enjoys 2D cell animation. However, for most animators like myself, I feel like it might just be a fun thing to experiment with. I mean, personally, I'm not sure how my brain would jive with really animating this way, but I think it's a neat illustration of the underlying animation principles of timing and spacing. It shows how those elements affect the object's weight or the emotion it conveys. So aspects that digital artists might take for granted. Now, if you're interested, you can grab this tool at Dayduz's Gumroad page for about 15 euros. And let me know in the comments if you would consider animating using this tool and drawing everything out. All right, it's time to show off some amazing work from around the interwebs this week. And first off is Matthijs Leuten, a Dutch freelance animator and director based out of Sydney, who has worked with some pretty heavy hitter studios like Buck, Oddfellows, and Giant Ant, basically the holy trinity of motion design. Now, Matthijs just dropped his latest demo reel, and I always love when an artist shows off their personality, not only on their website, but in the reel. I love this little fox character. But you can see his mastery of gradients, animation, and some slick cell animation to boot all throughout the reel. I definitely love the retro sci-fi vibes that are in here too, along with the really cool mix of 2D and 3D in some of the spots. The reel breaks one of the cardinal sins of a reel though by being over a minute long, but it's so jam-packed with incredible styles and visuals that you don't even notice. His use of color and those beautiful gradients really elevate everything he touches. Next up is Nick Scarcella from Future Deluxe who recently did a talk for the newly created Safe Space LA meetup run by the lovely team at Laundry Studios. During his talk, Nick shared work from their Sonos Dune Spot that has some amazing sand simulation work and he broke down how their team created some of the scenes emphasizing their kind of generalist approach and sharing techniques using Houdini, Cinema 4D, and Nuke. And one of the cool things is Safe Space just announced it nabbed G-Monk himself for the first Safe Space meetup that'll be in San Francisco. So stay tuned. Links for both Nick's talk and the San Fran meetup announcement are in the description below. And finally, we have the legendary Wes Cox, whose posts are some of the only positive and inspiring things I see on Twitter or X these days. It's incredible how often he posts online and he just collected a bunch of his personal explorations on his Behance page entitled Collected Explorations 41. He's been doing a lot of these. 41? Wow. Wes consistently creates some of the most beautifully crafted renders. I love how he's always pushing concepts and exploring design language with, with very clean, vibrant pastel color palettes, utilizing Cinema 4D, Redshift, and Houdini. Now, if you're not following Wes on Instagram or X, go ahead, do your eyes a favor, and click that follow button. Links to all the artists and all the stuff they talk about will be in the description below. From Marvelous Designers to Marvelous Designer. How's that for a segue? Smooth. Marvelous Designer, the clothing design software known for creating amazing 3D garment sims, just dropped its first update of 2025. The headline features are new animation capabilities that expand on existing functionality, now allowing you to keyframe avatar joint positions, 
fabric properties, and even wind properties. Now, one example shows fabric with keyframed air dampening and gravity properties, making it look like the clothing is kind of flowing underwater. Now, another feature added that is in beta currently is the ability to view fur in the viewport using the fur strand material. So you can preview fur directly on your garments without leaving the app. Alongside updates to existing UV generation, topology, and file export is a new modular library system with an updated UI. So this allows you to create different variations of your own assets using previously saved garment groups and block sets, letting you quickly create style variations. So you can check out the complete list of 2025 updates over on Marvelous Designer's site. Link is in the description. Wonder Dynamics, part of Autodesk Flow Studio, recently announced CleanPlate is now a standalone tool in Autodesk Flow Studio. CleanPlate uses AI-powered rotoscoping and in-painting to remove actors from a shot as shown in their demo where a person is completely erased from a scene, leaving a clean backplate for VFX work. Wonder Dynamics has been creating a lot of awesome tools for VFX artists, which is exactly why our very own Joey sat down and interviewed the founder and CEO in a podcast that will be coming out soon. Be sure to subscribe to our socials to be alerted for when that podcast drops. Now on to our School of Motion student of the week, Greta Hand, who submitted one of the most epic lamp entrances you'll ever see. Now she did this for After Effects Kickstart's logo liftoff assignment. This is where students are tasked with taking their After Effects knowledge and applying those skills to create a logo animation. Now, as a 3D person, I personally love the parallax and depth given to that lamp animation. Now I want to remind people that a kickstart is for artists who are taking their very first steps into After Effects. So I think it's really great that Greta has shown what someone is capable of after just taking a few short weeks of that course. And if you visit Greta's website, you'll see she does some awesome, amazing traditional cell animation as well. The character work and cleanup is fantastic. So congrats to Greta and their TA, Melissa Robinson. Really incredible work. And I hope you keep enjoying your journey into the world of animation inside of After Effects. And you can find more of Greta's work on her site, links in the description. Now, if you remember last week, we talked about the sneak peek that Jenga Effects gave us about their upcoming node-based 2D effects tool called Illigen. Well, this week, Jason Key from Jenga Effects reminded us about their liquid simulation tool, Liquid Gen 1.0's upcoming launch with some awesome hyper viscous liquid sims that run in real time, which is the real mind blowing part about this. Now I actually asked Jason in person at NAB if Liquid Gen was actually able to do these types of sims. So it's kind of cool to see this type of thick syrupy kind of sim actually be possible. Now you can see in the examples, the different levels of viscosity that they're actually able to achieve from flowing liquid to thick honey or chocolatey types of viscosity. Now this is perfect for product visualization or just those satisfying liquid animations that everyone loves. So Liquid Gen is actually scheduled to launch sometimes this year. So get your pancakes ready. I'm really excited to see when that comes out. And that my friends brings us to the end of this week's Motion Mondays. And just in time because I just heard the Amazon delivery person just delivered me another Kirby toy. I don't have a problem, okay? Be sure to head on over to our website to learn more about our brand spanking new all access platform where it's a, it's a veritable all you can eat or learn buffet of content with the ability to take any course you want whenever you want at your own pace and try the blender biscuits. They're delightful and free links to everything we discussed are in the description and have a great Monday and I'll see you next time.